Hi, Michelle. The Takumiro Innovator I want to introduce you today makes these. The Takumi makes small bubbles so tiny that they can barely be seen with the naked eye. But what are they for? Well, let's go and find out. Kama City, Fukuoka Prefecture is home to a well-known industrial pump manufacturer that's been in business for over 60 years. Our Takumi today is Nobutaka Matsumoto. Let's take a look at the product he developed. This is it. This whitish liquid contains tiny bubbles called micro nanobubbles. We have succeeded in producing them en masse. Inside the glass float countless tiny bubbles. These are called micro bubbles, each only one one hundredth of a millimeter in diameter. The glass also contains even smaller bubbles, invisible to the naked eye, called nanobubbles. Less than 100 nanometers in diameter, they are even smaller than the influenza virus. These two sizes of bubbles are collectively known as micro nanobubbles. This is the device Matsumoto developed to create his micro nanobubbles. When it's switched on, The liquid in the tank quickly turns a cloudy white. It is producing masses of micro nano bubbles. The microscopic size of these bubbles actually gives them a unique property. Due to their extremely small size, they float to the surface incredibly slowly. In fact, the smaller the bubble, the slower it rises. While large bubbles float straight up to the surface, micro nano bubbles drift around, rising at a leisurely pace. Some travel as slow as 3 millimeters a minute. In fact, these slow moving bubbles are used to do a very specific job. This device was developed to test their effectiveness at doing that job. At the top of the device is a huge tank filled with water. Nothing unusual so far. When it is turned on, micro nano bubbles flood into the tank. After a few minutes, the water has turned white with all the bubbles. On closer inspection, dirt can be seen floating around in the water too. The micro nano bubbles are pushing the dirt up to the surface. Because micro nano bubbles drift around and rise slowly, they are more likely to bump into the dirt floating in the water than larger bubbles. The micro nano bubbles produced by this device are also given a negative electric charge, so they are attracted to the dirt which is positively charged. Now to clean the water, all you have to do is skim the surface. Micro nano bubbles are used to clean water in places like factory water treatment facilities and pearl farm hatcheries. This method is also environmentally friendly since no chemicals are used, just bubbles. But that's not all. These bubbles also have another use. By injecting ozone gas, we can make ozone micro nano bubbles. Ozone is highly chemically active and has the ability to break down organic substances. Ozone micro nano bubbles are used in places like dye works to remove dyes from wastewater. It was once considered difficult to produce micro nano bubbles in large quantities and a consistent size. Our Takumi's device made it possible to do both. Let's see how it works. First, water and air are fed into the device. Then a rotating blade applies pressure, causing the air to dissolve. 
Then in a separate cylinder-shaped tank, the bubbles are produced by lowering the pressure and passing the water through fixed holes. The key to this device are the holes in the tank where the bubbles are produced. The size and the angle of the holes need to be just right in order to produce micro nano bubbles. Matsumoto spent two years making prototypes before he finally came up with his current model. His final product, a compact, easy to operate device that produces micro nano bubbles in large quantities. I am happy if I can contribute, even in a small way, to society by developing a new technology, finding a use for it, and then incorporating it in a viable product.